how to get motivated. We all have areas of our life that need changing, but sometimes we lack the drive to do anything about it. See, motivation is important because motivation does everything better than lack of motivation does. So we want it, but it's sometimes hard to get it, especially at the beginning of change. I grew up in northern Saskatchewan in a farming community, farming area, and sometimes my cousins and my friends, we'd go out into a farmer's field to play right after the baler had gone and now you had these big round bales in the field. And so what we would do is we'd get a bunch of guys and we'd start rocking that bale, and all of a sudden we'd push and that bale would go over for that first rotation. That first rotation with the big round bale was always the hardest. But once it got going, especially if it was downhill, that thing would roll. Very similar to motivation. It's hard to get that first rotation, that first initial action of movement in one direction. But once you're moving in a certain direction, you got momentum and it's easier to get going. So I could have done seven steps on how to get motivated, but if you're unmotivated, who wants to watch seven steps, let alone do seven steps? So. <laughs> Let's just talk about one. One single thing that we can do to start that first rotation of that big round bale to get moving in a certain direction. And it's very simple and it's easy. And you don't even have to lift your little finger. All you have to do is use your mind. What is it? Visit your default future. Let's say you have an area of your life that needs change. What if you don't change? Look at your life, five years. 10 years, 15, 20, 25, 50 years down the road, how do you end up? Who's still in your life? Who have you pushed away? Who have you hurt? What is the kind of person that you are? Are you living a happy and fulfilled life? You know, that might just be enough motivation to change if you visit your default future. If you have an addiction, say pornography or gambling or alcohol or drugs, and you do nothing with that addiction, where do you end up? And who do you end up with? Or do you end up alone? Very important questions to ask. Visit your default future. What if you're struggling with anger, impatience, greed? Ask those questions again. Go down that road into the future and ask yourself, how is this going to affect my friends, the ones I love, my family, my children? Are they still going to be in my life? And how are they going to end up if I don't change? How many times will I have hurt them instead of built them up? Or maybe you struggle with fear or fear of commitment. And what if you don't do anything about that fear? You never tackle it. You never go to the root of that. And you allow that to continue to manipulate your life. Where do you end up? You know, this is something that I struggled with. Janelle and I, before we were ma married, we were dating. And we dated for about two years, and then we broke up. Why? My fault, okay? Just another video, but let's just, just so you know, it was my fault. <laughs> and part of it was I was afraid to commit. And then somebody came to me one day and said, Ken, if you don't marry Janelle, somebody else will. That was my default future. And I could not imagine my life without her. That question really impacted my life. My friends, if you're struggling to find that motivation to change, visit your default future, let's say 20 years down the road, and then see yourself and ask yourself for some advice. What would your default future 20 years down the road say to you right now, today? And listen to those words. I mean, if you can't listen to you, who can you trust? My name is Ken Yuzinski from CatholicSpeaker.com. Thanks for watching.